Hello there everybody thanks for tuning in to another video here on Armor of God. If you find the messages in this or any other video in this channel helpful, please do share it on your Facebook or Twitter to help spread the message. I do enjoy making these short clips for you so it is much easier for you to watch and listen to these priests sharing their insights on specific subjects. So this time we'll be discussing about what Father Vincent Lampert said of the language of the church, Latin, and how much demons hate the language. Again, as I have said in other videos, there will be those who disagree with what is said, but please do comment responsibly and try to restrain yourself from profanity in the comments as we want to create a safe community for all. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Did you know that the official language of the church is Latin? For those of you might not be familiar with how Latin sounds like, let me share briefly here. In illo tempore, venit Jesus in partes Cesare Filippi, et interrogabat discipulos suos dices, quem dicunt domines esse filium hominis. Latin is the official language of the church and the devil would hate the church because one of my favorite definitions of the church is that it's the guardian to the tree of life. It's the instrument that Christ has given to us so that we can uh, approach eternal life. If you think of the story of the fall of Adam and Eve in the book of Genesis, once they were cast out of the garden, then the flaming sword and the cherub were put there so that they could not approach the tree of life. So the church is the vehicle that gives us the possibility to approach the tree of life and then to enter into eternal life with God the Father. And the devil believes that if he could destroy the church, then humanity would be permanently trapped in sin as are he and his demons. So again, the, the demons would hate Latin because it is the official language of the church. And I would also like to add what Father Chad Ripperger said of Latin and explain why the language is considered sacred. According to Father Chad Ripperger, if you actually look at the fathers of the church, they say that the reason a language is sacred is not because it's in scripture, by the way. Everyone thinks that's why they're sacred, although there is a certain sense in which that's true too. But the primary reason that it's sacred is because of the fact that the languages of Greek, Latin, and Hebrew were affixed to the instrument of our salvation, which is the cross. So that's why they're actually sacred. And in Father Chad Ripperger's experience, even within session, the Latin language, because it's sacred for that reason. So you have to realize that every time a demon hears the language, he sees the whole context of that language. So every time he sees it, he in, 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 in his mind is the connection of this thing, the relationship that it has to the cross. And so he knows immediately whenever he hears it that it's sacred. But it's kind of interesting because whenever you compel them, uh, and then I'll apply it to the liturgy, but whenever you compel them to say something in Latin, they always switch to that pseudo form of pronunciation that was derived in. They always say, well, this is how classical Latin was actually spoken, which was derived in the last century, right? And when I read all the literature about how that, how they came around with that, I'm like, well, this is speculation. Ultimately, we don't know how it was originally pronounced. But what's interesting is that the demons consider the ecclesiastical way of pronouncing it itself sacred. They don't even want, they, so when they, if they have to say it, they use that Protestant slash modern um, form of pronouncing it, and I don't let him get away with it. It's important to have Latin in the liturgy because the Latin is a sacred language. It's therefore, on an objective level, more pleasing to God than the vernacular languages. And so even though Latin wa was a vernacular language, once it's fixed to the cross and Christ's um, passion is accomplished, then it becomes sacred. And from that point on, it becomes a sacred language. And so that's one of the reasons why the church tended to use Latin, Greek, and Hebrew in the liturgies. Well, that's it for this time. Again, thanks so much, everybody, for your support and participation in any discussion we're having in the comments section. God bless you, and thank you so much.